that the tax code should be fair. It should be about raising just enough revenue to provide the services, stop picking winners and losers. And third, change the culture of progress. Yeah. Implement reforms so that they have to comply with all the laws that we do, uh, that they don't get the lavish pension benefits and, and subsidies for their health care. Yeah, those things have got to change. Something yeah. else I was curious yeah. about, and I don't know if I'm missing. You guys want to sit down? Let's oh, sure. sure. Yeah, we're, we're just making more of a conversation. Okay. Don't mind me. Thank you. 
putting that issue on the ballot. Right. Okay? It's not an issue that each state should have to fund a ballot initiative for. And some states don't even have that on. Well, it's, it's interesting. It's not so the more rational way to deal with issues like that is Right. So, Jonathan, is that your mm -hmm. partner's name? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to follow up with you and see yeah, He's been on this about. stuff, and he's been doing more and more research in the past year. Um, it's funny because Sometimes the term was that I don't want to know what's because yeah, <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, now I can't yeah, enjoy it anymore. Now I'm giving it up. Enjoy other things <laughs> not <laughs> nice. But no, no, he, <laughs> I have, uh, it is true. Organic fruits and vegetables taste different than the, the non organic ones. They're just fresher and they're tastier. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I'm a surprise because there is, it, there is a big difference. So. There is. So what is this five-year contract over regarding the fluoride in the water? Uh, it started, I believe, two years ago. Come on in. Are you here for the coffee? Uh, we're passing through, but we want to say hello. Oh, great. We're oh. here. Hey, is that okay? Uh, Carl, 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 George Mullen. Oh, George is amazing, yeah. Karen. My wife, Karen, my brother-in-law, Steve. Hey, Steve, are you from San Diego? Nice of course. I know. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Where do you live? Yeah. I live up in Poway, but our offices are all over. You're, you're my district. So my yeah. district goes from Coronado, downtown, all the way up to Poway. I'm pretty proud. pulled the letter for you. We're good. Awesome. <laughs> we have our support. Yes, you do. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you, guys, if you guys ever have any issues, just uh, let me know that the, we're doing the series downtown in buildings because it's people would prefer to go walk to a building rather than drive to something. So I just make myself available. We're going to, we're going to continue this of, of just our office hours and community Great. buildings. Great. Smart. Good idea. Yes. Uh, Next time we can help kind of, if you ever do it here again, we manage this building. So oh, great. Oh. Yeah. I don't think we knew that this was going to happen, but mm -hmm. next time we'll help. Okay. You should have gotten a letter in the mail. We mailed, we mailed everyone downtown. Well, we don't live downtown, but. Oh, okay. Oh, Where do you live? In University City. Okay, okay. that is this building, gotcha. so it would have been told. To well, we'll be that. doing one in University City in probably about uh, four or five weeks, so you'll get a letter to that one. All right. cool. We'll see you there, too. Yes. All right, so well, thank thanks you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you at home. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The fifth largest uh, economy, the sector of our economy, is agriculture. It's actually larger than biotech. And so yeah. um, I've been talking, you know, I, these issues, people are surprised when they hear San Diego is such a big agriculture yeah. area, or it's so, that it's so important to our economy. Yeah, we hear about how proud us, but that's about it. You know, yeah, you know, but, but, but there's more than that. There's a lot more. And uh, in my city council district, I have uh, I represented for four years 38 farms in San Francisco Valley. Oh, really? Yes, 38 farms, because uh, it's the water department owns all the land up there. We lease it to farmers, okay. um, and they're active. You know farms up there and uh, so I was able to you know hear from them about certain issues that they've got to deal with but um, a good amount of the produce for uh, farmers markets come from our local um, farms here in San Diego County and uh, uh, I hear all the time about their complaints ranging from water to the issues on pesticides and, um, a lot of them are going through organic approach to San Diego so it's pretty We've got a lot here, and I don't think most Indians know that it's it's old, it's, old, it's fresh. We do, but I mean, I even went to the grocery store, and so I was kind of like turning around and swimming to browse because it's walking distance from me. This is before Jimbo's over there. And you know it was impossible to get any brand of cheese that was not hormone free. Every single cheese in Rouse had, had hormones in it. No. It was, and, and I know this because I, I know what to look for. And it needs to either be artificially free or organic, or it has to come from a country that doesn't use these processes. So we even have the manager in that department help me. We went to three different areas of his soldier cheese and couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That is crazy. But now we got Whole Foods. Uh, yeah. We got. Um, but we're lucky in that I have Whole Sprouts. Sprouts. We're going to have pants and we're going to have a two level. Where's that going in? It's going in everyone's Is that the red one? 
Yes. Oh, the rentals. The rentals there Correct. across yeah. from Rite Aid. Correct. Okay. First and second floor. Oh, yeah. interesting. So that's huh. a big deal. Yeah. Oh, that's a very big deal. I didn't realize it before. Yes. How, how are the uh, need uh, to come to our meeting. quiet zone? <laughs> How's that coming down? Oh, oh that is so nice you mentioned it. Great. Great. Yes. Great for them, not for me. I'm in the Marina District, so it's the West Market Street. Right. It, the trains, honestly, were never a problem for me, and I'm right next to a big thing. The problem is, is the gates, the ding, 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 yeah. they come down way longer than before the train or the trolley goes by. They're sounding the entire time, and then the train goes by, they're still sounding, and then they come up. Two issues are a problem with that area. One is, I'm not sure that the ding, 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 ding on those bells is at a low, low enough level. It's very, very loud, and it echoes in the building. So, I can be down there at the crossing and it sounds quiet, but as soon as you get in your unit and it's echoing off the other buildings, it's amplified. So when they do a sound study, they need to study the sound from other areas besides on the corner. So I would like to see two things. One is, do they need to be going the entire time? Because I think they go 100 times a day right. and throughout the night. So once the train comes through, I get that the flashing lights are helpful, but do we still need the sound? We've the got sound. a clear block. We know the train's there. We can see it, feel it. I'm not sure they need to be sounding that entire time. The other thing that's really strange about that particular corner is, because they're getting on the Harbor Drive there, right? Are you familiar with the corner? Yeah. Okay. 